Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make an HDR with one raw file. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, living in the sunny Los Angeles, California. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use a raw HDR to make a single HDR with a single raw file. A really cool trick. All right, guys, so here is my little trick for night photography. This is a photo of downtown Los Angeles taken in the Griffiths Park by night. And this is something I like to do with night photography, especially when there is CD lights like this. Uh, so I shot this on a tripod at 25 seconds at f.8. I was trying to get everything sharp. Everything looks kind of sharp. So I'm going to do you my usual workflow. I'm going to open up the shadows. I'm going to bring down the highlights. I'm, uh, maybe on, so sometime on night photography, I don't bring down the highlights completely. I'm going to do my black point and then I'm going to do my white point. So remember, you can hold on the option key to make sure. Now, I like to have my black points really strong on night photography like this. And my white point, I don't care if there's a lot of city lights blown out because that's part of the deal, I would say. That's totally part of the deal. And then uh, let's find the right white balance for this. I think I'm going to go to tungsten. Uh, or I'm going to go to fluorescent. Fluorescent, I think, is a little nicer. Yeah, fluorescent is better because there's a lot of fluorescent light. I'm going to add a bit of contrast, and that's a good starting point. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click, I'm, I'm going to export, and I'm going to use it into Aurora HDR 2018, best software from Apple of 2018, uh, with this setting, use.tiff with Lightroom adjuster. So all we did in Lightroom is going to be baked, basically, into the photo, it's going to create a TIFF file and it's going to send that TIFF file to Aurora. Okay, uh, I'm just going to click on Tone Macking, Create HDR. So I'm creating an HDR just with a single RAW file. But the way Aurora takes care of certain things is really amazing for this kind of like uh, skyline type of photography. So it's going to load. All right, so by default, I'm here. Uh, it's I have uh, I think one of my preset the photo search basic preset being applied uh, which is uh, not that bad look at the difference already before and after look how it, it's getting so much more details it's, it's kind of crazy you know uh, so you know in case you don't know how I got to this preset you can just go to category uh, you will see here is you've got captain chemo search remedy preset and on this one I'm gonna use the photo search basic or uh, I'll show you another trick. I can click on reset all if you don't want to re reset and know more what you're doing. All I'm going to do really on this one, because I did most of the retouching uh, in Lightroom, is um, I'm going to add uh, maybe some HDR on hands just a little bit. But I really want to do something about the CD, uh, some smart tones. That does it really well. And then maybe lower again a little bit the highlights. And you know maybe do my blacks just you know a few things. The key thing is is HDR on hands and smart tones because that's two settings you don't have in Lightroom. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, a new adjustment layer, and on this one I'm just going to look at the CD. On the CD I'm I'm just going to go here and I'm going to add some HDR structure and some uh, and some HDR detail boost small. Okay, so. I hate what it does on the sky, but I love what it does on the CD. I think I went a little too strong on the HDR structure, so I'm going to go down on this. But I like the HDR small details. For the, the background, I think it's cool. But I only want to use this on the background. I don't want to use it on the sky. I don't want to use it there. So I'm going to take a brush, and uh, I'm going to make sure that it's on paint. I'm going to make the size. Size is good, and I'm just going to paint. And as I'm going to paint this, you see it creates a little mask here. Remember a mask in all the software, black conceals, white reveals. So I'm just basically revealing, uh, only applying this effect over the CD. Um, voila. And now I'm going to click here on plus, add a new adjustment later. I'm going to do the same thing for the sky. But on the sky, I like to add some radiance. I like what it does on radiance. So I'm going to go to uh, um, radiance here. And I like what it does on the sky. I don't like what it does on the city. So same thing, I have my brush. And I'm going to click here. And uh, and I'm only going to brush on the sky. I can even make it bigger, much bigger. And so it goes fast. And I'm only going to add radiance to the sky. It's going to take out this sort of HDR look, you know, that you have. And you see, uh, it takes a little minute, but you will see 
that my, uh, here it is. You see the mass now on the top of the mass, let me zoom in, is completely white. So the effect is only being applied on the sky. And I actually like to use it also, I'm going to make it a little smaller, I like to use it also on the bottom here, but just not on the CD. I don't want too much details uh, in these trees, in this foreground. And voila, so before, after, I, you know, I think it just adds this little je ne sais quoi that's pretty cool, all right? Um, I think I'm, I did one more thing on this one. I'm going to click plus, add a new adjustment layer, and, ad and added a preset on this one, which is the photo surge sunset look. This one is kind of crazy. Yeah, and same thing with the brush. I'm only going to bring it here uh, over the CD there. And if you think it's too strong, like I think it is, you can just lower the opacity of that layer. So, you know, the reason why I went from Photomatics to Aurora is just because of that layers. This software was voted best software from Apple for 2017. It's the real deal. You get a link below, you get a special offer uh, where you can get it at a cheaper price if you click the link below. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go here. I use this all the time. I'm going to click on Apply. And now I'm going to do a double development. So I did my HDR on a single RAW file, and now I'm going to keep on working at it in Lightroom. So let's go back to Lightroom, and I'm going to do a little double development. First of all, I'm going to crop the photo, because this one, I want it to look like a panorama. So maybe like this, and, and have this at the bottom. I think this is kind of cool. I'm going to add a, just a lot of contrast to the photo and take the uh, this spot hitting brush tool because the HDR unfortunately makes uh, spots which were hidden to come out. That's the crazy thing about it. This is a chopper that came and let's see if we can erase it using this beautiful tool. Uh, I think it did a good job. Yes, so I clean up. S usually I do that in Photoshop because I think it goes even faster. But for the purpose of this training, I'm doing it here. Okay, and I think I'm pretty much happy with it. So yeah, it's just a little trick to make this, you know, crazy city scale. Let me show this to you in full screen. I love the photo. It's still a very high resolution file, you know. It's still 7,000 pixels wide. I can make a huge print out of that and I'm really happy. So that's how you do it. I would probably spend a little more time in Photoshop cleaning up the photo, but that's the basic idea. Uh, check out Aurora. It's amazing software. See you in another video. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and tell me what you think about single row file HDR and what you would like to learn. I love looking at your comments. Tell me what you would like to learn in the comments. Thank you very much. And don't forget, you can download the row file that goes with this episode using the messenger link that's right below the video. You just have to be logged on to your Facebook and you can get right away. It's really simple. And don't forget, if you don't have our HDR, check it out. I've got a great offer for you also. The link is under the video. Mesdames et messieurs, I will see you in another video.